Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehra Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz with zero increment on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away from the game for sure. Yeah, before we start off with the game I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, without wasting any further time, let's start off with the game and see how this goes. Got the white pieces, I'll play the London system setup. It starts off with d4. The bishop comes out on f4. Let's try the Jobaba London system, which starts now with the knight. Yeah, let's play the knight. I'm pretty much interested. Rest setup is pretty much similar to what London system is. And now we can proceed with the knight as well. Attacking his pawn, which is, I don't think can be defended straight away unless yep, you move your rook, which he does. And now probably I can just move our other knight as well. Trying to go in the center. Knight can be retrieved. That's what we do. Probably exchange the light square bishops here because bishop is pretty annoying there. If he goes back, that as well we can take. Yeah, let's take or just move the knight ahead. Um, let's stick. See what he takes back with. H pawn probably. Yep. We'll go ahead with the knight now. Going for some knight exchange as well. We are okay with it. Knight on e5 is pretty pretty good in the Jobawa system. Okay, we can still proceed with the other knight now, defending the bishop as well. Okay, what's his plan? What is his plan? If I take on the knight, no, I should not. Let me just play the pawn forward here, f3. Attack the knight. Knight has to retrieve this time. Goes back. Uh, some knight maneuver can we do? I doubt. Let's play pawn to c3, solidifying our pawn chain in the center. It's attacking the bishop now. Let's go back or play pawn forward. Ah, his queen can also come in. I have to be careful there. Let's play the pawn forward. We can take back with the pawn if he takes the bishop now. He doesn't. Oh, I missed one part there that my Bishop can be trapped. No, it can't be now at least. Let's play queen. Queen to c2. Preparing to castle on the long side. Yep, let's castle. Can we push the pawn forward? I am I don't mind doing that. Okay, he gets the queen for the attack. We'll just push the pawn forward. If he takes, of course, we can take back. He doesn't. Just trying to keep everything pretty safe and secure there. Okay. Uh, do I have a tactic? Yes, I have. I can take on the pawn. His bishop is hanging now. Let's take. We got an extra pawn. Always nice. Let's take on the knight. Go with our knight here. We are trying to fork queen and rook to be noticed. Queen is defending, uh, attacking the g6 as well. So if I take the pawn now, it's guard. The knight is guarded. And it would be tough to defend this, I think. 
Yep, I can take with the queen or the knight here. Up to me. I think let's take with the queen. Let's take with the queen and see. This is aggressive chess. I'm trying the Jobawa system first time. Uh, to be noticed, queen is guarded, so nothing to be worried there. So I can just move the pawn forward, attacking the knight. If he takes, it's bad news for him, because I come with the knight. Now, after he moves the knight now, I can take on another pawn. So he has to take, and that comes with a check and a fork on the rook. So I can take on the rook now. Or I should take on the knight. Let's take the knight because I can still make another folk as well if we defend the rook. This is completely winning and I just destroyed him. Let's check again. And he loses another rook there. Another check. Another pawn. Cleaning some stuff attacks we can just go back again i'm going to take another piece there another another pawn somewhere okay let's take let's take we are okay losing the a pawn as well just in case let's go here let's go back there's no harm This is completely winning position. Let's get the rook active. Check. Might lose on the pawn there. Oh, he's exchanging the rooks. Simplifying stuff for me. Thank you so much. I'll just get another queen and win it. Cake walk from here. Take the pawn. Move the knight away. Knight is guarded. Can just move the pawn there. I'll just move king once so that there's no threat whatsoever. He can go wherever he wants to. We have got too many pawns. Not even looking forward to mate him early. Just develop the queen. And he resigns. Understands what? What lies ahead so yeah that was pretty nasty i would say the jubawa london system working very well we'll quickly analyze the game and see probably i missed a move in the beginning i would say i am not pretty sure because this, these are new lines to me as well i'm trying to learn so start off with d4 he responds with d5 i play bishop f4 knight to c6 knight c3 he plays knight oh yeah this is what i missed i had to place my knight this move only but rather i played e3 here so if i go with the knight uh, defending the pawn here is pretty much tough you have to play the move which is very bad uh, which is e5 in this case and i can still take with pawn or the bishop i think computer is saying take with the bishop what if i take with the pawn what's what's wrong oh you can push my knight away but then i will first take on his knight if he takes i can take back Another pawn. Oh, his bishop gets developed in this case. So I have to now defend that. And he can break the center. Oh, that, that can be tricky. So rather, once you're playing, just try to exchange some stuff. OK, so I played uh, e3 in the game. Spawned with the rook to c8. And then I play knight to f3, defending, just trying to develop my pieces. He tries to kick away the knight, uh, knight comes back on c3, and then the opponent plays e6, I respond with light square bishop on d3, offering bishop exchange, which he denies, and now I have a couple of options to take it or leave it, I thought of taking, yep, which is the right move as well, I took on, he takes back with the pawn, I go with my knight on e5, computer saying he can take, he doesn't, uh, and I then they're trying to bring the other knight. So what's the problem here? Because if he takes, I can take back with the pawn. Always nice. 
oh, he goes back and now the pawn is not guarded. It's only guarded once, so I'm going to lose a pawn there. That is what the threat is. But he tries to get the other knight on e4. I tried to kick that knight back by moving f3. Knight goes back. I solidify my center by playing c3. He's attacking my bishop. He wants to eliminate the bishop. So goes to knight. Knight goes to h5. I play g3 here. Still, there is no exchange happening. We are just trying to retain our pieces on the board. He plays knight to e7. I bring queen to c2. He solidifies his center by moving c6. I castle on the queen side. Computer still saying he can take on the bishop. But that's, that's not much of a threat as well. Here he plays queen to b6, which was the bad move. And as I said in the game as well, there's some tactic here. So I have played some tactics, learned some tactics during the games uh, previously. That's what I'm trying to implement here. Take on the pawn. That's a free pawn, which I saw a bit late. Uh, should I first take on the pawn, but I tried to take the knight away. And then I take the pawn. That's a free pawn because after a king takes, his bishop is hanging. And that's what happens in the game. And then he brings the queen back, trying to defend the knight or what, a tank the bishop maybe. I took on the knight, he takes back with the queen, another bad move I would say, because now the knight is hopping in on f4, attacking the g6, which is pretty weak. And here he plays queen back. You know, even if he plays pawn ahead, we can still give a check, so there's no harm, and he goes back. Uh, we can take on the pawn as well, so things are pretty much good for white here, but instead he... Uh, took his queen back and we take on the pawn with the queen uh, forcing him to go back and again he plays his king on a bad square I would say because that would lead to a fork eventually uh, he thought for some time here I, I just moved the pawn forward to g5 attacking his knight and instead of just moving his knight away he tried to just exchange uh, queens which was bad because that comes to the fork again uh, now I can take on the rook, but I thought I'll just first take the knight because I can still fork him in the next move. He tries to attack the uh, knight now, and I give a fork, a knight fork again from e7, taking away his rook as well. And then he just tries to take the pawn. I give check and eat some pawns over there. Pretty much uh, normal stuff there, nothing to be elaborated much. And just going with the flow of the game, taking the pawns away taking the knight back and then just getting the rook on the empty file give a check and exchange the rooks so that's again bad for him and then just pushing up the edge pawn for queen promotion it takes some pawns there just i placed my knight on f4 and i just played one more move here which was king to d2 making sure that there's no threats whatsoever of king coming from anywhere and then it's mate in seven if you see so i'm just trying to Push him backwards. Okay, I then thought of just moving my pawn and it's mated in three, six, was about to be mated anyhow, so I just tried to promote and he resigns. So, yeah, uh, a good game with the Jubava London system. Uh, it's very nice as I found it, like just playing first, first game with it today. Uh, so, yeah, I will try to improve the theoretical lines from here as well. Stay tuned to the channel. Do watch out all the videos that I'm posting up daily. Do give a like and, a, and comments as well. That keeps me motivated because I'm putting on a lot of hard work placing all these videos uh, daily on YouTube. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it and there was something to be learned as well. Uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.